if you can play an E major chord, an A major chord, and a B power chord, then I think I can teach you this entire song, though the song does have more chords in it, they're the only skills you need to be able to play this song. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the E major chord. We're gonna play an A sus2, which just has two fingers down at fret two of strings three and four. And then a B power chord can be played like this, string five fret two, strings four and three at fret four, but we're also going to keep the finished two strings ringing out. And these are the chords that make up the intro, the verses, and many of the instrumental sections. This is most of the song. And even, it has that riff kind of within it when we play an E sus4 chord. Now you can play this whole song with just a really simple strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down. Let me show you that. Down, down, up, up, down, twice on the E chord. A major once, B major once. If you're really struggling, you can go for a B7 instead. A sus2, B7, that works absolutely fine. To play a little bit of the riff, we can add in an E sus4. That's just an E major to an E sus4. A sus2 as we have been doing, and then either the B power chord to the thinnest string being held down at the second fret, but string two not ringing out. We do that with a slight curl of that first finger. Like that. I'm muting string two, so we have two muted, so that would be an X, four, four, two. String six not played. Or B7 without the little finger, B7 with the little finger. For example. Or with the B7 chord. And then the same in the verse, same for many of the instrumental sections and the intro. We're gonna take a look at how to play that classic intro on electric guitar at the end of this video. Just skip ahead using the chapter times if you wanna take a look at that. I'm gonna show you another strumming pattern that really gives it some energy on acoustic guitar. But to be able to play the chorus, because they're all the chords for most of the rest of the song, the intro, the verse, and the instrumental sections are just those three chords. Let's take a look at the chords for the chorus now, because we're going to use the same techniques, but we're going to be using different chords. Let's take a look. I encourage that we play this chorus section as an A major chord played like this, which is an A9, with the thinnest two strings ringing out, root note played by the first finger or the thumb, kind of in the A bar chord position at the fifth fret, 77500. Zero, zero. Then moving down to this G sharp minor chord, but keeping the thinnest two strings ringing out. So four, six, six, four, zero, zero. And then sliding down to the F sharp minor position, but again, keeping the thinnest two strings ringing out. Two, four, four, two, zero, zero. And then it moves back to the fourth fret. And then it's E major to finish that section. Which means, and we're gonna use a similar trick later in the song, that we can play this entire song without playing any bar chords. And I love that on acoustic guitar because a bar chord completely takes away any color of the chord. We're not changing the type of chord. Whereas keeping two, the thinnest two strings ringing out in the key of E, I think really adds a lot. The final chord would be a D over E, which I prefer the voicing of playing that at the fifth fret, essentially fifth fret power chord with the thinnest two strings ringing out and string six ringing out.
pretty much once per chord per, per that down, down, up, up, down strumming pattern. Then at the final part of the chorus, final four chords, E major, C sharp minor, which we're going to play like this to avoid a bar chord and to keep strings ringing out. This is the first chord of Best of You by uh, Foo Fighters as well. C sharp minor, Asus 2, and then a B power chord here. Get out while we're young, cause tramps like us. Maybe we were born to run Let's have a run through all of that one strum of a chord per time. We have quite a long sequence here, but it is somewhat repetitive. You can do it, grab your guitar, let's join in. Come on, we've got this E major chord. Let's give it a strum. Aces 2 to the B power chord, open strings ringing out. In the day we sweated out on the streets of a runaway American dream. At night we ride through mansions of glory and suicide machines. We're going to change now to this descending section. Sprung from cages on Highway 9, chrome wheeled fuel injected and stepping out over the line. That D chord, if you don't like the D power chord, just playing a D major chord's great on the Oh, but I prefer Oh, baby, this town breaks the bones from your back It's a death trap, it's a suicide rap We gotta get out while we're young That's the best of you chord but tramps like us, baby, we were born to run. Let's do all of that again. But a tip with the strumming pattern is it will give it more energy and it's something to play around with. If we can get the same rhythm of down, down, up, up, down, but with all downs on eight, so ba -bum, ba -ba -dan, dan, ba -dan, ba -dan. So we're just playing those main strums louder, but always keeping the eighths going. It gives it some... And it also means when our hand's moving at that tempo, We can give uh, some double strums, that are down. To give it some embellishments. Let's have a slow playthrough of all of this song from the very intro now to the actually the end of the second chorus when we just kind of repeat that intro. So the sax solo. This is the bulk of the song really. Let's have a go at this. We'll go a little slower than the main BPM, which is quite fast but we're going to do this together and break it down. Join in with me from this E chord. You do the strumming pattern that you prefer. Join in in one, two, one, two, three, four. In the days when it out on the streets of a runaway American dream At night we ride through mansions of glory and suicide machines Sprung from cages on Highway 9 Chrome wheel fuel injected stepping out over the line Oh baby this town rips the bones from your back It's a death trap it's a suicide rap, we gotta get out while we're young Because drams like us, baby we were born to run We're gonna do verse 2 Wendy, let me in, I wanna be your friend I wanna guard your dreams and visions 
Just wrap your legs round these velvet rims and Strap your hands across my engines Together we could make this trap We'll run till we drop And maybe we'll never go back Oh, will you walk with me out on the wire? Cause baby, I'm just as scared and lonely rider But I gotta know how it feels I wanna know if love is wild I wanna know if love is real So this is now the saxophone At the end of that saxophone section, we then have the C-sharp minor chord again, B power chord, E, and then it's briefly to a B minor 7, even a B minor 7 over E, because it's played on different instruments. But then we actually have quite an easy section where we've got open chords and sus fours. Let's have a look at this interlude section now. Recapping going into this interlude section, or the bridge, this is at the end of the sax solo. We have any way you're comfortable playing a C-sharp minor chord, B power chord, E, and then it's a B minor 7 but on the piano. Uh, so you could just stay on the E chord if you wish. Then into the bridge proper, we have... This is beyond the palace, that section, okay. And then it's gonna, that's a D sus4 to a D major, twice. G major, but it's a G sus4 to a G. You can keep that in. I like to think of it as a sus4, but some people probably do say it's a G, uh, G, G sus11, oh, G add 11. A sus4 to A, C sus4 to C. So same pattern, same strumming uh, for every chord. If you wanted to do it with the strumming we were using earlier. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. It's on, we change to the sus4 on the first up of that strumming pattern. Even if you're playing it with downs, it's that same rhythm. It happens again. And then, I wanna die with you, Wendy, on the streets tonight in an everlasting kiss. And then it actually goes to an F chord. We could play that here, so a bit of a change here. If you wanted to not do this section, you could just finish on a B and then go back to How is Anne on the road tonight? If I was doing an acoustic open mic night thing, I'd probably just go from the end of Everlasting Kiss and hit a B chord and then into E. But to play strict to the original, we need an F sus4 to an F. I would play that like a D but moved up three positions. So one, two, three. to see that's F sus4 to F just as a triad move it up by one fret and then you know what's coming next and then we're back to Verse 3, which is the same as the intro, etc. So what happened there? We were playing these uh, F, but in this fret 5 and fret 6 position. To C, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One fret higher. And then you could do this as power chords.
bet it goes from fret 14, however you play it, 14, and then down uh, every fret to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let me try and count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the fret 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and finish. <laughs> I'll leave a link to the tab below as always and uh, a pretty decent chord sheet. One more time. Two, three, four. Final time, but with power chords. verse to the ending. One, two, three, the highway is jammed with broken heroes on a last chance power drive. Everybody's out on the run tonight, but there's no place left to hide. Together, Wendy, we can live with the sadness. I love you with all the madness in my soul. Someday, girl, I don't know when We're gonna get to that place Where we really want to go And we'll walk in the sun But till then, tramps like us Maybe we were born to run Repeat those last four chords Three times Maybe we were born to run Final time, C-sharp minor Intro, which is the same as the outro. Let me show you how that riff is played on electric guitar. We're going to use a tremolo pedal as well to get the signature sound of the recording. Let me know how the play along went for you in the comments below. And let me know any more songs you want a tutorial of, of Springsteen or from the 70s or 80s. I love this style of music and I want us to share this passion together, learning these fabulous songs. Let's have a look at the riff. So I have a Fender Stratocaster, absolutely sacrilege, I know. It should be a Telecaster, really, but Fender Strat and Telecaster kind of sound similar. I'm on the bridge pickup. I have uh, a clean sound with a little bit of reverb, which you can hear there, spring reverb. And I have a tremolo effect on this as well, only slightly, but quite fast. The rate is fast. The depth is quite low. The depth is four out of ten, maybe five. The notes are the same as on acoustic. We have... Middle finger, second fret, string five. Go into an E sus four note, to an E major note, second fret, to first fret of string three, to fret four, string five. String four, fret two, to four, and strum an E chord. where you can learn things like this and great songs and live streams. I hope to see you over there. Take care. Bye-bye.